What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Redbeard Outdoors podcast. I'm Jonathan, your host here at Redbeard Outdoors. I talk about faith, family, fitness, and the outdoors. Today is my first day back from being elk hunting for the last eight days. Had an absolute blast. I'll be sharing that story with you guys a little bit later at the end of elk season because I will be getting out at least one more time uh, for the Utah hunt here in well, Utah, like I just said. So, but before we get into that story in a later podcast, I want to remind you that we are doing the Sheep Feet Stealth Bomber giveaway, which I used those a ton during this last week. I actually really enjoy that little boot. Uh, it's a little shoe. It's a great stealth stalking shoe. It can also be your camp shoe, etc. So you definitely want to check that out. If you want to get in on that giveaway, the link is down below. Definitely go check that out. It goes through the end of the week. So it will be until Friday. And then I will be announcing the winner. I'm extending it another week, guys, for you guys uh, to be able to get it into that giveaway. So make sure you get entered in that. If you want to check out that video, check out the previous video, last week's video that dropped on the Stealth Bomber, my first impressions. I'll give you more details on that later. Also, guys, we want to see you over at First Form Outdoors Facebook group. I'd love to see you over there. Let them know Redbeard sent you over there, guys. It's a fantastic group. It really is. It's a group of individuals that's not going to tear you down for making mistakes. They're going to help you learn with them, and they're going to share everything that they've learned with you, whether that be hunting, fishing, camping, building your community, hitting some health and fitness goals, whatever it may be, guys. Go get in on that group. You don't have to be buying first form to get in on that group. Just go build your community. Find that community that's going to help you get to the goals that you want to get to in your life, especially in the outdoors. So with that being said, guys, today I want to talk to you about a couple pieces of gear that I absolutely love that I've been using in the backcountry uh, and around camp, kind of a mix between the two and why I really enjoy them. So this is from a company called Flextail. You guys may recognize this company right here. Flextail is, they're a great company. They make everything from some sleeping pads to lights to things that we're going to go over today that I really enjoy and that don't take up much room in your backpack and will make things so much more convenient for you whenever you're backpacking, whenever you're camping, whatever it is. And we'll get into those things right now. So with Flextail, here is one of the items that I really enjoy. Now this is a light that can screw in. I was looking for that. So you can screw it into somewhere if you need to screw it into somewhere. It's also magnetic. If you want to stick it on the side of a car or something along those lines, a table. It also has a carabiner that you can hang up either in your tent, around camp, whatever it may be, or just simply set it on a table. But that little baggie that I held up here, this is the flex tail. I'm going to get the names wrong here, guys, so I apologize. For that but it's basically what these are are little swatches of mosquito repellent that go in here and these little vents here blow it out to heat it up warm it up and blow it out uh, similar to a thermocell also being a light on your table so keeping this with you does a fantastic job of keeping the bugs away now i just wanted to make sure here that i've got everything so it is rechargeable there type c which i like when things are common charging ports so everything from your dark energy batteries to now the iPhones or type USB-C to the Garmin's if you have a Garmin inReach or an inReach mini those things are all USB-C I love having to not carry around multiple cables for different electronics this is no different it is a type C charger let's see here I want to get this turned on for you oh looks like I burned the battery out okay Either way, so right there, guys, you've got the light button there, and then you have the heat button there to determine what you're going to, you know, how you're going to turn up the heat on these little swatches that you fill in right there. Let's see if I can pull one out here for you. Obviously, I don't have to worry about mosquitoes in my house, but so they, they come individually wrapped just like this. And they're supposed to last up to four hours. I haven't tested that out. I trust them enough to, to believe what they say. But that little package right there comes with this many swatches. You take one of these individual swatches out right here, 
and you slide it into that slot right there. And then you turn this button on right here for the heat. That will start to blow the mosquito repellent out. Again, you can clip this onto something, set it on a table, screw it into a pole uh, that maybe you've got, maybe a, a stand or something like that for your camera or whatever that you want to use this on. Go for it. Again, it is magnetic. And this light right here does a great job as well around camp. If you want to play cards around camp, if you want to have a, a light in your tent, whatever, this does all of those features right here. Now, I love when things do multiple jobs in such a small package like this. I mean, look, that's the size of my hand. That's, that's as big as it gets. So great option. I'm going to be taking this to the Whitetail Woods with me as well so that I can have this hanging in the stand whenever it gets warm and the mosquitoes want to come out. If it's too cold, obviously I'm not going to need this, but this is the flex tail. I can't remember what this is called exactly. Again, I'm terrible with the names of these items. I will leave links to them down below. If you want to help support the show, definitely go check them out over on Amazon. This is the Tiny Repeller S. Okay. So I want to make sure there's no other features. That's how I use it personally is for a mosquito repellent. Obviously, I burned the battery out this last camping trip and for lighting as well to have that hanging up in your tent or in my case in the canvas cutter. I loved having this thing hanging up in the canvas cutter at night. Let's see here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the features for the tiny repeller S. Here's another amazing option from Flextail that I really like. So I first started with this one right here. This is, and I can't remember exactly what it's called. Let's see here, the Flextail. Either way, it's a pump. So this thing is also a pump, a light, uh, etc. It's super tiny. Again, fits in the palm of your hand. Rechargeable, has a little fold up loop. So if you have a carabiner, you can hang this up in your tent. You can have the light. Let me turn the light on real quick. There you go. A little flashlight there. And then let's see here. All right. And then once you attach these, so it comes with little attachments that you can use to be able to pump up your mattress. Let's see here. There you go. It's a little loud, but it is blowing air. It's blowing air out that way. So if you have an air mattress, uh, such as a, you know, a climate pad or a thermo rest or something like that, instead of having to blow it up every single time using your oxygen from your lungs, you can have this little guy right here. Again, it's rechargeable. Again, USB-C, fantastic option as always. So you don't have to carry multiple cables around. You have the light that you can hang up in your tent and you've got multiple different attachments here. So it'll come with a bunch of attachments. See if I can dump them out without making them fall everywhere. So it's got a whole bunch of different attachments based on what your air pad needs. So what I would recommend is just figure out the air pad that you have, put that attachment along with this into your pack, and then you're good to go. You don't have to worry about getting lightheaded from trying to blow up your mattress or continuously having to blow up your mattress. Uh, again, it's just for the light, you hold down for an extended period of time. And then if you want the fan on, you just take that power button and click it multiple times. One, two. One, two to turn it off. There you go. So that is the Flextail air pump. And then they came out with a new option, which I think is even better because of how even smaller it is. And if you don't need the flashlight option, so this does not have a light on it. This is the Flextail, is it the zero? I can't remember exactly what this one is called either, but it's the Flextail 1.2 ounces. And it even tells you there, deflate, inflate. So you have uh, very clear instructions. It also comes with a bunch of these rubber uh, options for fitment. So you just put those over top 
I'll just do one at a time. So you would put that over top of your flex tail. So again, let me show you that. So there's a flex tail 1.2 ounce. There you go. That side says inflate. So if you're looking to inflate your air mattress, put that over. It even gives you instructions here, guys, so there's no mistaking it. Pump on this side, pad on that side. That's cool. I didn't see that before. It just kind of made sense to me. But anyway, there you go. In this little tiny package, you have an inflator. So you don't have to, again, sit there and blow and blow and blow. It comes with a bunch of different attachments all inside the, the little 1.2 ounce box. Pick the one that works for your air mattress, stuff it in your bag, and you have this little super tiny, I mean, this one's even smaller than the other one, and it's only 1.2 ounces in your backpack so you can inflate your air mattress in no time. Absolutely love this thing. So when I'm not sleeping in my canvas cutter, I use a Thermarest air mattress, and I really love that one, the uh, Neo Air NXT, I believe, the insulated one. This inflates that in no time. It is awesome. I'll do videos later, maybe put them up on Instagram or maybe some shorts here on YouTube, or even just do a, a longer video uh, for you guys to be able to see how these things exactly work. But it's pretty self explanatory. Pick the nozzle that works best for your air mattress, these little rubberized things, stuff it on here, inflate the mattress, take it off. That easy. Boom. And these are rechargeable as well. So let me show you where that charging port is. One second here. There you go. So you unscrew this right here. And I've actually got these little CR, RCR123A batteries. So I apologize. This one is not rechargeable. I got that mixed up. So again, depends on what you would like. If you want a rechargeable one, go with the other one. If you want a battery powered one, then the RCR123A battery works in this. Flip this over for you. 1.2 ounce flex tail. Check them out, guys. There's so many options. They also have other camp options. They have a big, tall light. Uh, they have so many things that you guys can use. Highly recommend you go and check them out. They're not expensive. If you want to support the channel, use the link down below. I'll send you over to Amazon so you can go pick these up. I really enjoy these for camp. Uh, they just make things just a little bit of just the little things like mosquitoes when you're in the earlier season, maybe for elk or deer. You have a little light so you can see things in your tent or your canvas cutter, whatever it is that you're sleeping in. Uh, all of those, yes, they may be luxuries, but having it in such a small package that will fit inside your tent or inside your backpack and not take up much room, not weigh anything. I mean, come on, that one is 1.2 ounces uh, and it's going to make things a lot easier for you. The little creature comforts that you may enjoy during camp, go check out Flextail. Again, the links are down below. Last but not least, I want to show you something, guys. That when I got back from this week of elk hunting, showed up in the mail that I'm super excited about. Look at that thing. The carbon that they did work for the scales on this, the Speed Goat 2.0 with the carbon scales, Magna Cut steel. It's an amazingly gorgeous blade. So they even scalloped it out right here. So you can have a little bit better grip, but just it's very grippy, fits in the hand really well, and just an awesome knife. So a little sneak peek there. I'll do a video of it later, get you some weights and stuff, but definitely go check out Montana Knife Company if you want to support the channel there as well. If you're already thinking of getting a, a knife on the next drop, whatever it may be, check out the link down below. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Follow if you're listening to this on the audio only platform. I have some big things planned right now with it being hunting season. Um, I've got some things planned post hunting season for you that you're going to really enjoy. So have a fantastic one. If you've got a tag in your pocket, good luck. I hope you have success on your hunts. And of course, guys, don't forget to get in on the Sheep Feet Stealth Bomber giveaway. That will be ending on Friday. Thanks so much. Have a great one. And of course, Get out, live your life, and love it.